We got a dozen new tricks for you in this video with everything from the craziest new spot on Nighthaven, a 6000 IQ precision Tom Brady Cade spot, and somehow even another new way to use the zombie barriers. Notice how I said a zombie differently that time? Also, if you're going to be at the 6 Invitational, then come find me because I'm going to be giving out custom pins, doing random stuff around the event, and even a couple surprise things that I cannot wait to share with the Bra fam, but you will hear about it very soon. Anyways, let's get into the first trick. On border, there's this huge brain of zombie barrier that you can throw in workshop. This barrier is simply placed a quarter of the way down the edge, and since the wood on the left side of the desk is angled, the barrier will leave a slight gap that gives you a line of sight all the way through the bathroom. Obviously, this is really good anytime that you do an extended hold or if attackers breach from the bathroom side. This is one of the craziest tricks of the season, and it's how to currently get onto the lifting machinery claw thing that's inside of the warehouse. Now, anyone that's played on the new map has probably thought about being up there at one point or another, and now we finally have a way to do it reliably. It's going to take a little bit of precision, but I'll do my best to explain so that you can do it as easily as possible. While on the warehouse catwalk, you're going to want to push your character until they're touching the railing. Now, above the yellow paint line, there's a gray section that sticks out. At the top of this section is where you're going to place it barrier. This is just left of the notch that's at the top of the railing. You'll know when you did it correctly because the Kiba barrier should have a small gap between the railing and the barrier itself. If the barrier is flush with the railing, then you're not going to get a vault prompt. After the Kiba barrier is placed, you're going to just crouch and look for a vault prompt. You know, just wiggle your crosshairs around, you'll see it. And then once you vault over, sometimes the Kiba barrier will break, sometimes it won't, and then your friend could follow you behind if you wanted to. Once you get to the edge by the wall, you're going to want to sprint forward until you feel your character drop and then keep pushing forward and you will glide across to become the claw. Obviously, there's a bunch of different angles that nobody's going to expect right now, and it's probably the best spot that's currently in Siege. On border, there's this insane grenade that can be thrown all the way into office, all while you're nearly still in spawn. All you got to do is run down the valley spawn until you get to the broken wall. There's a low spot in the broken wall that you can stand on, you'll feel yourself slightly elevate. Don't go too close to the wall or else when you throw your grenade, the grenade's actually going to catch on the rebar and bounce off. Anyways, once you're elevated, you can look between this section of clouds and you will have a really good lineup for really early in the round. If you want to practice this, then throwing drones is a good tool also because it has the same pattern as grenades. This one here is the first really cool trick that I saw from the pro games that have been played at SI so far, and it's how you can get the claw off of the bathroom hatch. You guys want to take top control, and then if you cook a grenade and then bounce it off of the edge of the shower stall, it's going to cause the explosion to happen close enough to the claw that it'll break. It's a really good one, and it was from Jume of Team Heroic. I really hope I didn't butcher your name, so I apologize if I did. He's the one that I saw it from first, and it's a really, really sick trick. When somebody runs up the ramp from the gas station spawn on Outback, there's actually this angle that allows defenders to get a really early kill on them. What you need to do is open up a section of the soft wall in showers and then open up the window. Once you do that, then go and stand underneath of the fan and piano room and you'll have this line of sight that goes straight towards attackers as they go up the ramp. It is pouring rain outside. I really hope that you guys can't hear that in the mic. A smart attacker is going to be checking for different windows for a spawn peak, but the line of sight's also at a really weird angle, so it's still going to surprise them. Now, a more simple spawn peek that you can do that requires absolutely no setup at all is to simply run out of the big door in Terrace. After one second into the round, you can run out and pre-fire into the doorway of the red garage. There's a path that attackers might choose if they spawn here, and it's not a spot that attackers feel very threatened by, so I do have a feeling that this spawn peek is going to be a pretty popular one soon. In Games Room, there's a way to elevate yourself and get this angle onto the window. This spot is really good with castles so that you can protect your back from bowl easier. All you'll need to do is vault up onto the brown table that's between the two couches and then walk onto the blue flower vase. From there, you should feel yourself get taller and then you want to slowly inch your way forward until you can see about halfway down the window. If somebody vaults in, they have absolutely zero chance. Up next is just a quick did you know and it's how did you know that Osa shields can still directly counter a Rooney gates without you or your shield taking any damage. It's insanely easy to do and a good thing to keep in mind because not many people realize this even though it's been around forever. 
This trick here is an interesting way to use the zombie barriers. If you crouch down next to a corner, you can throw a barrier, and then I guess since your character is close to the wall, it causes it to expand out to the sides, but not upwards. After doing that, you can place a second barrier just above head level, and then you can create really sneaky holes in the Kiba barriers to surprise anyone that's unfortunate enough to choose to look at your new setup. Gamer and I did a few here on Chalet, and it even works in doorways, so a really crazy one is in the connector because you can create its tiny hole that goes straight out of the garage. You can get really creative with this new concept and can create the gap as big or small as you want, so I'm really excited to see what the community does with this next. This one here is an alternate way to use gridlock and have multiple small sets of traps for a flank watch on Nighthaven Labs. Standing on the warehouse catwalk, if you throw your gadget to the top of the brown trim, it will then land on a joint that will let your gadget open up. The places that it deploys the track stingers just happen to be in pretty good spots, like there's two sets on the stairs, one set at the top of the catwalk, and then even a bonus one if somebody jumps out of the window into warehouse. Now, since we're on the warehouse catwalk already, here's a good trick for defenders. There's a slight gap in the wall that's on the railing that just happens to line up perfectly with anybody that's pushing from the warehouse entrance door. You could also use this angle as a flank watch, so just a good one to be aware of. Now, from the same spot, if you vault over the railing, you can land on top of the boxes below. If you prone and then shoot out the top left corner, it just happens to line up perfectly with this common path that attackers take after spawning in by helipad. If the attacker chooses to run anywhere on the right side, then they can't help but cross this line of sight, and they might expect a window peak or maybe lower in the garage wall, but since it's high up in the corner, it's not something that's common to expect yet. This one here is just a quick echo drone that's really strong for kitchen defenses. Simply throw your drone towards the top of the ceiling and then it'll bounce off and land on the light below. It's basically a flat, movable valve cam in a really good spot. The center light does seem to be the best one that provides the best views while still hidden. When you're defending upstairs on Nighthaven Labs, the wall that's in connector leads outside and it can be pretty difficult to protect, but there's actually this crazy cade spot that's unlike almost all other cade spots in the game. If you go prone, you can shoot out the floor in the spot that you see me do and then you can throw this Tom Brady precision cade claw to land on the top of the light below, which just happens to be at the perfect range to electrify both walls and be 100% immune to Kali. Even if an attacker goes below, the claw literally blends in when it's thrown correctly, so it's pretty nuts. Anyways, Brafam, that's the last trick. If you're hearing me speak right now, thank you so much for the support. If you tune into any of the six invitational streams, you'll probably see me. Something special is really gonna happen, and I can't wait to show you. And if you're hearing this, you're the first to know about it. So I love you all, peace.